Okay, welcome to Electro Online, and here our next video on sound is the concept of doubling the sound intensity. So let's say we have a, a loudspeaker here and it's putting out sound at an intensity of 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter, and right away you should look like, oh, that's 80 decibels. If you didn't quite get it that quickly, again, go back, you know that 1 watt per square meter is 120 decibels. 10 times as faint, 1 times 10 to the minus 1 watt per square meter, we just divide it or, or decrease it by 10 decibels. 1 times 10 to the minus 2, decrease it by 10 decibels again. 1 times 10 to the minus 3, 90 decibels. 1 times 10 to the minus 4, 80 decibels. So I do that quickly in my head and I look at that and go, oh, that's 120, 110, 100, 90, 80, 80 decibels. And that's how you can look at that. Now let's say that there is now a second loudspeaker putting out sound with the same intensity. So this also now puts out intensity equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And so that's also equal to 80 decibels. But how much sound does that put out together? That's the question mark. So what would be the decibel level of two of these? So the danger here, when you look at that, you go, oh, you simply double the 80 decibels, so 160 decibels. Then you go, oh, wait a minute, that can't be true because 160 decibels, that would be well beyond the threshold of pain. Definitely people would be going deaf. And so that doesn't make a lot of sense. What you need to do instead is double the intensity here and then convert the decibels. So that means the intensity total is equal to I plus I, which means it's equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter, plus 1 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And so that is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And then we convert this number into decibels, and that's what it would mean to double the sound intensity. Let's see how many decibels that is. So again, we go I in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of what we're hearing. In this case, we want to know what I total is right here, divided by the reference intensity, which is equal to 10 times the log of I total, which is now 2 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. And we divide that by the reference intensity, which is the threshold of sound, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts. That's a 12 watts per square meter. And uh, now we need a calculator. So we divide uh, 2 e to the 4 minus divided by 1 e to the 12 minus equals. And then we take the log of that. And so when we do that, this is equal to 10 times the log of 8.3, which is 83 decibels. So this would be equal to 83 decibels. So what that looks like is when we double the sound, you add 3 decibels, in essence. Hmm. So if something puts out a sound of 90 decibels, and now you have two of those objects putting out 90 decibels, the two together, they put out 93 decibels. Yes, that's what it means. What if we had four of them? So now we have one more here, and another one here. So now we have the intensity of four times, one times 10 to the minus four watts per square meter. And how many decibels would that be if now we had four of them? Well, four is a doubling of two, so I would think that maybe I had another three decibels, Let's find out. So what we're going to do now is assume we're now going to say that I total is going to be equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter instead of 2. So this now becomes a 4 and this becomes, well, question mark, right? So let's find out. So we have uh, 4 e to the 4 minus divided by 1 e to the 12 minus equals. You take the log of that. There's my log button. Oh, sure enough, this now becomes 10 times 8.6, which is 86 decibels. So that's when we take four times as much, which is doubling the one and doubling the one, the two, that goes to four. So now you can see that anytime you double the sound intensity, you simply add three decibels. So here's another question for you. What if we had eight of these? I'm not going to draw eight this time, but what if we had eight of those? Then the total intensity would be eight times 10 to the minus four watts per square meter, and then you would simply have to add another three decibels, and that would be 89 decibels and so forth. So it's not just doubling the decibels, it's just adding another three decibels each time you double the intensity. What about half? 
What if we had one that now puts out half as much? Well, then you would subtract three decibels. So if you take one times 10 to the minus four, and you divide it by two, then in decibels, that would be 77 decibels. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to work with the decibel scale. And in the next video, we'll see, we'll test out that knowledge and see if you understand that. All right, let's go.